Why don't we throw our garbage into volcanoes, dump it into the crater, let the lava swallow it up and problem solved, right? Stop, this idea has crossed my mind more than once, but I've realized it's absurd. However, let's calmly make an attempt to explain why it is absurd and outline the potential consequences that could arise. Ciao ragazzi, this video was written and filmed in Italian by our team of scientists, storytellers and video makers, manually translated into English, but, but, dubbed with artificial intelligence. Long live culture and let's go back to the video. Problem number one, there must be a volcano. It may seem trivial, but in order to throw garbage into a volcano, we must have a volcano available and not just any kind of volcano. Obviously, it also needs to be an active volcano. In Italy, there are just over a dozen active volcanoes, mainly concentrated in southern Italy. Etna, Stromboli, Vesuvius, etc, etc. So already from here it's clear how this crazy solution could be only local and not applicable on a large scale. But let's say, for argument's sake, that there are plenty of accessible active volcanoes and we hit problem number two. In our imagination, volcanoes contain boiling lava like a beautiful Sunday ragu. Well, unfortunately, this image, as suggestive as it may be, is rare. Yes, some volcanoes have a lava lake on top called Ragu, but they are few in number. Lava lakes can be found at the Erta Ale volcano in Ethiopia, Kilauea, the crater of Mount Erebus in Antarctica, and near Agongo in Congo, near the Rwandan border. In Italy, there are no volcanoes with a nice lake of Ragu all year round. Furthermore, it should also be mentioned that some lava lakes develop a layer of more solidified material on their surface, a crust which would make waste disposal even harder. Problem number three, lava temperature. But let's say, for argument's sake, that all volcanoes have a lava lake at their summit. In this case, we'll still have issues as there are various types of lava with variable temps ranging from 700 to 1200 degrees Celsius. In a waste energy plant, temperatures of 1000 1200 DC are typically reached to ensure proper combustion of all waste types. If the temperature were lower, there would only be a partial combustion, contributing to the release of large quantities of pollutants. In addition, during a large eruption, all this waste would be spewed into the surrounding areas. I mean, can you imagine Vesuvius belching and throwing garbage everywhere? Guys, I apologize for this video. I am aware it is ludicrous, I know, but we had to do it once and for all. So, when someone asks why we can't just toss our trash into a volcano, we can show them this video. No! Issue number four, environmental pollution. Always using absurd reasoning, let's imagine not just that every volcano has a lake of ragu on top, but that each of these lakes reaches a temperature that can be compared to that of modern waste-to-energy plants. We were saying, if we were to throw garbage into these volcanoes, we'd release a multitude of toxic fumes containing lead, mercury, metals, acidic gases, just to name a few. Their composition would vary depending on the type of waste thrown into the volcano. In any case, these substances would be very unhealthy. Normally, all these toxic substances are stopped by the waste-to-energy plants, thanks to specific filtering systems. But in the case of a volcano, these would be absent. Pollutants would immediately go into atmosphere, causing significant damage to surrounding environment. It might seem obvious, but it's worth mentioning that there are numerous other problems with this idea. Let's make it even more ludicrous. In the event of an eruption, the act of throwing waste could potentially be fatal for all operators. Assuming someone is willing to climb to the top of a volcano to throw garbage into the ragu, besides the technical problems, there are social reasons that cannot be overlooked. For some populations, for example, volcanoes are considered sacred. The case of the Hawaiians, or in Japan of Mount Fuji, or Vesuvius for the Campanians. But then volcanoes are an inexhaustible source of tourism. Let's think about the volcanoes of the Aeolian Islands, Vesuvius, Stromboli and Etna. Certainly no one would like to see a line of garbage trucks going back and forth from their craters to dump garbage. In brief, irrespective of the perspective we adopt, this solution is definitely not viable. Thank you very much for sticking with us until the end. I'll see you in the next video always here on Geopop Science in Everyday Life. Ciao!